Hey guys, how's it been going? In this video, I'm going to solve another problem from BAFE.dev. It's called Roman numeral swing integer. I think this is also on these codes. I remember, I think I've done this before. Uh, anyway, allow me to try this again. Okay, Roman numerals are represent, represented by combinations of following seven symbols. I, V, X, L, C, D, M. Okay, for stand, standard form, Subtractive notation is used, meaning 4 is IV rather than 4I, and 9 is IX rather than V IIII. I, I, I. Same rule applies for 40 and 900. Mm -hmm. Simply speaking, the Roman numerals in standard form follow these rules. 1. Symbols are listed from highest to lowest, from left to right. Mm -hmm. From left to right, if the next symbol value is bigger than the current one, it means subtracting, subtracting, otherwise adding. Mm -hmm. So please implement Roman to integer. The input are all valid strings. Okay, so for, for the case here, C, C is 100, X is 10, so 120, and triple I is 1, so 1 to 3. Okay, next one, M, C, M, 1,000, and C, 100. And next one is M. M is bigger than C, so this C is negative. So this C, M actually gives us the uh, 9, right? 900. The same for C, C and I. Oh, uh, no, C is, uh, wait a minute, X, C. Okay, X, C is 90. IX is 9, so 1,999. Uh, okay, so actually the, the rules here give us the uh, approach, right? If found next one is bigger than it, then the current one, it means minus. Otherwise, it's plus, so we only need to keep track of the sign. Okay, let's um, say the results. I equals zero, and then uh, we need to keep track, keep a map of these symbols from these symbols to the values, right? So we say the value map i one b five x ten l fifty c hundred d 500 m like this is verbal so in a real interview I think you just uh, leave it empty and the uh, interviewers will know we know that this is a uh, this is this is trivial okay so then we loop through all the characters that character of stra Oh, I need to get the next one, right? So, hmm, this is not good. Let's use the traditional index space for the. Uh, just I. Oh, I use let. I'm sorry. I s minus and I plus plus. Okay, so the sign would be uh, the next one. Next one exists and is bigger than current one, right? Okay, let's say the val would be value map uh, stra i, right? Next val equals value map. Um, the extra i plus one. It is if it is not empty, right? If it is not overflow, i smaller than extra dot length plus minus one, then it should be this. Otherwise, it is undefined. So we should say uh, the sign would be. If next val is not undefined and next val is bigger than val, 
then it should be negative. If not, if it's one. So result sum up assign times val. Finally, we will just return the result. I think we're done. Pretty simple. Okay, I'll post it into the discussion panel. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.